in the QBO gym. And the QBO gym is a place where we have numerous hands-on exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Each month covers a variety of new topics and scenarios. And to make it a little bit easier for you, we break it down into four different sections. So if you're looking to work on your bookkeeping skills, this is the place for you. And if you'd like to do a deep dive and do some of these on your own, be sure to join our free five-day bookkeeping challenge. All you have to do is click on the link in the description after we go through the exercise. But let's dive right in. Today's exercise is coming from our May year one warm-ups section. So go ahead and click on that. And here at the top is an animated video to give you an understanding of what you, the bookkeeper, will be doing for your client, Craig, this month. Below that is an interactive pre-assessment quiz to, that does relate to the video up above. Under that are all of the exercises in this section. And then at the bottom here, after you have gone through all of those exercises, you will unlock some sample marketing posts that you can use on your LinkedIn to share with everybody what you have learned so far. So let's get into today's exercise where we are going to practice recording the transfer from Slice. Go ahead and click on that link to have the exercise pulled up for you. I have it over here on the right side of my screen, so let's read through our scenario. Slice has deposited $97.50 from last month's sales into Craig's checking account. So let's see how to record this. You will need to be in the same session of the sample company that you did the previous exercise in. If you have not completed that exercise yet, go ahead and click on the link on the top right corner of your screen. That'll take you to that exercise, complete that one, and then come back to this one. They build on each other, so it's important to start with that first one. So let's go ahead and get started with the exercise. I have the sample company pulled up here on the left side of my screen. This is the last page that I left off of from the previous exercise. Now, as previously mentioned in the other exercise, Slice will collect the funds from the sale and then distribute them to the business owner minus a transaction fee, usually the next business day. So it would be delayed over a weekend or a holiday, but usually it's the next business day that it is transferred or uh, distributed. Typically, you will see the deposit in the bank feeds and then create the transfer at that time. Sometimes if you have access to the POS system yourself or itself, you will know in advance and can enter it. Since we do not have bank feeds available for this in the sample company, we will just create the transfer manually. So we're going to click on that plus new button and then click on transfer to begin the transaction. The plus new button is on the top left corner of the screen. Click on that. And then under other, select transfer. In the transfer funds from field, we want to select slice clearing account. Remember, this is the account that we created to hold onto the funds until they were distributed to the business. So in that transfer funds, 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 from a field, <laughs> click on that down arrow and then go ahead and select slice clearing account. In the transfer funds to a field, we're going to select checking. So click that down arrow, select checking. And then in the transfer amount field, we want to type $97.50. So click into that box, type $97.50. And we're going to leave this date as is, but of course you would want to put the date as the date of the transfer. Now notice that Slice does not uh, did not transfer the full amount that was collected. This is a common occurrence and just a result of the timing of when they receive the money. By putting the full amount in a clearing account, however, you can easily see how much they still owe Craig. So we'll do that next. So you can see this is the amount that was um, that was collected, and this is the amount that they are distributing right here. So let's click on the down arrow next to save and new and then select save and close. That down arrow is here on the bottom right corner of the sample company. Click on that and then select save and close. And that transfer has now been saved. 
So although Slice did not transfer the full amount to Craig's checking account, we can easily see how much they owe him at any time by checking the balance sheet. So to do that, we need to get to the reporting center. On the left navigation bar, we're going to click on reports. So that's over here on the left side, about halfway down is reports. Go ahead and click on that. And then in the favorites section, we want to click balance sheet. So click that balance sheet to have it run for you. And because we have set up the clearing account as a bank account, it's going to show at the top as if it was money on hand. So here is that slice clearing account right here. And we can see that there is still $25.62, which that amount is what slice still owes Craig. So he knows how much he can expect from them. Um, and if there's any kind of problems, he knows the exact amount that is owed to him. But that's it. That is how you would make a transfer um, for the uh, POS system. Now, if you like this exercise and you'd like to do more like it, be sure to join our free five-day bookkeeping challenge. All you have to do is click on the link in the description. We are gonna move through the warm-up section with our next exercise, where we practice processing the bank fee transactions. And I will see you in the next video.